Title, Billionaire's Lawyer Says Let's Chat to Senate About Ties with Supreme Justice Thomas. T.L. D.R. Texas billionaire Harlan Crow's attorney is now ready to have a chinwag with the Senate Judiciary Committee about his client's cozy relationship with U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. However, Senate Democrats are calling foul play, accusing the GOP mega-donor of snubbing legitimate requests for deets. This saga has been sparked by the media unveiling some lavish gifts from Crow to Thomas. Dems are now saying, hey, Supreme Court, maybe up your ethics game a bit, huh? Say hello to Texas billionaire Harlan Crow, who's been buddying up with U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Well, that's the story doing the rounds. And get this, now Crow's lawyer, the one and only Michael Bopp, is stepping up to the plate, saying he's ready to chat with the Senate Judiciary Committee about this whole shindig. But here's the kicker, some Senate Democrats are claiming Crow is giving them the cold shoulder on their legitimate requests for information. Now ain't that a twist? So, what got this party started? Media reports have been unearthing connections between Crow and Thomas, showing that Thomas has been living the good life, thanks to Crow's generosity. Real estate purchases, luxury travel, all on Crow's dime. The Democratic response. They're banging the drum for stricter ethics standards for the Supreme Court. Hey, Supreme Court, let's step up that integrity. Game, shall we? But the plot thickens. Crow, who's also known for supporting the GOP with some serious moolah, didn't seem too eager to meet with the panel last month. According to a letter from his lawyer made public on Tuesday, he's not convinced the committee has the power to ask for info from Crow or to impose ethics standards on the nation's top court. Question time, folks, does the committee have the authority to ask these questions? Or is this a case of judicial independence? At the heart of this debate, we find an interesting twist. The Judiciary Committee is considering whether to chase after stricter ethical standards for the Supreme Court, but Crow and his lawyer are throwing shade at the idea. And there you have it. As this saga unfolds, we can't help but wonder, does the Supreme Court need more rigorous ethics standards, or are these calls for transparency merely political posturing? So, dear readers, what's your take on it? Is the Senate Judiciary Committee on a witch hunt, or are they genuinely concerned about maintaining the integrity of the justice system? Disclaimer, the content in this article is not legal or investment advice.